Welcome to r slash am I the butthole where OP kicks a pregnant lady out of a house. Will I be the butthole for running away on our honeymoon? My husband and I are on our honeymoon. His parents gifted us a week in an all-inclusive hotel at no cost to us as a wedding gift and we were really grateful. On arriving, we found out that they'd also booked a room at this hotel for themselves for the whole week and want to do group things. Outside of this, we see them maybe two or three times a year for a couple days at a time as he finds them a bit overbearing at times and they don't really like me. It's not like they're in the room next door or anything and we can still do stuff in our room alone but they knock on our door regularly waking us up at 6am, making us get all three meals a day with them. We tried telling them we wanted alone time for a honeymoon and they shrugged us off saying that's what our room is for. We also tried faking illness to get out of eating with them and they just got room service to our room and sat with us while we faked stomach aches. My husband snapped earlier and said this whole thing was way over the line and they had no right intruding on our honeymoon of all things and they told us that they paid for this whole thing and that as adults we're allowed to take holidays at the same time at the same place. We've been talking and we saved up to pay for our own honeymoon before they surprised us. We still have the money we would have spent in our joint wedding slash honeymoon account. There's another town we wanted to go to on our honeymoon and we looked it up and we could get tickets from here to there and then back home for less than 60 pounds total. We could also book a few days in a nice hotel for about half of what's left in our wedding slash honeymoon fund and use the remainder of the week we booked off in another town without his parents knowing we'd left until we had. It's 9pm now, there's trains from here to the other town every hour plus more half hourly trains tomorrow. Would we be the buttholes if we ran away from his parents without telling them? Update, our train should be arriving in our final station in the next 30 minutes. We found a hotel that's able to take us tonight and we're very excited about the next 4 days. OP, definitely not the butthole here. Parents wanting to spend time with their kids on their honeymoon is super weird, but I can't really begrudge them for being weird. What I can penalize them for though is their attitude. Some people have the mentality that just because I buy something for you, that means I get to control it. No, that's not how it works. If they buy hotel tickets for you, then that means it's up to you how you spend time in that hotel, not them. Am I the butthole for refusing to give up my plane seat so a brother and sister could sit together? I've had an all day trip with two flights, one being 8 hours and the other 10 hours with 1 hour and 40 minutes overlay. I was planned to land at 6.20am and had a job interview at my workplace at 9am, so I really needed to get at least some sleep. The first flight was kind of horrid and I managed to get barely any sleep and I was kind of dreading the second one already but I get there and it's just me and an older man with an empty middle seat in between. I'm quite tall so this worked perfectly as I could spread my legs and fall asleep nicely. However, a flight attendant comes up to me and asks me if I would be open to giving up my seat so a brother and sister can sit together. She said they're young, don't know how old. I asked where I'd be moving and she said, Miss, just follow me, I'll show you everything. So I thought for a second and realized that wherever she puts me, it'll be a worse deal than what I have now. And if it was any other situation, I would have totally given up my seat, but I really needed to get some rest. So I told her, I'm sorry, I'll keep this seat. She looked at me in shock and said, But they're kids. They would like to sit together. It's a long flight. Please come with me. To which I replied, I get that and I'm sorry, but I'll stay here. She got super annoyed and rolled her eyes, but to be honest, I was too tired and just drifted away. Once I woke up, the older man said that he hopes a couple hours of sleep was worth ruining the kid's flight, but I told him he was free to give up his seat and he said nothing further. Anyways, was me not giving up my seat for kids a butthole move? Am I the butthole for it? No, OP, 0 out of 5 buttholes for you. 1 butthole for the old dude for being a hypocrite and 1 butthole for the flight attendant for being unprofessional. If the brother and sister desperately needed to sit together, then their parents could have bought them seats together. It's really as simple as that. Am I the butthole for calling the police when the optometrist wouldn't give me my prescription? Yesterday, I went in to get my eyes examined since my vision has slowly been getting worse. I've never had my eyes checked before and thus never been to an optometrist. I went to one that was in a local mall. The exam was okay, the doctor was nice and I was out of there in no time. As I was leaving the examination room, the optometrist instructs me to go to the front desk to get me sorted. I go up and ask for the prescription since I was just going to buy a cheap pair online, only really needing it to read. And I was told, 
Those are for our records. You can go over to the shop next door to pick out your glasses. The store next door was a part of the practice, I guess? I informed the receptionist that I'm not interested in buying overpriced frames for something I'll only use to read. The receptionist goes off on a tirade saying that those online glasses websites are all a scam. My brother uses them, which is why I thought that I can just get my prescription and be on my way. Well, I doubled down and demanded to have my prescription. I paid good money for the exam, so I think I have the right to have my prescription. The receptionist was adamant and refused to hand over my prescription, and the optometrist also said the same and wouldn't give me my prescription. So I didn't know what to do, so I just called the non-emergency police line and was told to wait for a police officer to arrive. Maybe 10 minutes later, a police officer arrives and asks me what was up. I informed him what was going on and then he goes in to talk to the receptionist. Maybe about another 5 minutes tick by and I'm told to come up to the desk, where the receptionist begrudgingly hands over my prescription. I took it, said thanks to the officer and left. I told my friend what happened and he says, So you called the police since they didn't give you your prescription? Okay Karen, it seems like a waste of police time to me, lol. But I disagree. Why would they charge me for the eye exam to then bar me from using the prescription anywhere but their clinic, with their overpriced glasses? Since the officer somehow got them to give up my prescription, I think I'm in the right. Reddit, was I the butthole Karen in this situation? OP, my job is to literally read stories about entitled Karens. I might actually be the number one expert in the world on Karens, and I can definitively say that no, you are not a Karen here. In fact, I think you should even take it further and file a complaint. I'm not 100% sure, but this sounds like a HIPAA violation and those are a huge deal. Those are your medical records and I'm pretty confident that federal law requires them to hand them over to you. So if they're scamming you, that means they're scamming other people. I say report their scam and let the Fed sort it out. Am I the butthole for asking a guy why he gained so much weight over the years? I, a 23-year-old female, recently moved to a new city and made some great friends through my local gym. We're a group of girls and guys with similar interests, fitness and sports, and they're all so friendly. They showed me around the city and made me feel really comfortable. One of my friends is this guy, Mark. Everyone's fit, but Mark is the odd one out because he's quite overweight. He doesn't go to the gym either, but when we're all hanging out, bar, dinner, fun activities, etc., he always comes along. Mark is a really happy and bubbly guy and obviously the most beloved in the group. I could tell that everyone is very fond of him, which I totally understand. He's really kind and just a sweet person. Sometimes I tease him about his weight, but it's all in good nature and he doesn't mind. Normally, I get told to leave him alone, but as long as he's fine, I don't think I'm hurting anybody. So yesterday, we were all hanging out together and one of the girls started showing me old group photos of their trips over the years. Mark looked really different. I almost didn't recognize him. He was very fit, muscular, and super handsome. He has a nice face anyway, but without the excess fat, you could actually see his amazing bone structure. I was shocked and pointed out that he used to look really good and asked him what happened. It wasn't a mean-spirited question at all. I just wanted to know what went wrong. Suddenly, the room went quiet and everybody was shooting daggers at me. Then, one girl said, that's effed up, and literally told me to leave. I was pretty confused and explained that I just wanted to know how and why he got so fat. Mark looked awkward and didn't really answer my question. Everyone started berating me and standing up for him as if I'm some villain. Mark actually defended me and told them that it's fine, but they insisted that it's not fine. Afterwards, someone spoke to me in private and said that I should just think before I speak and that I have no tact. Now, everyone's being weird with me and I don't get why. They clearly think I'm a butthole, but Mark doesn't. Otherwise, why would he defend me? Am I the butthole here? Jeez, OP. <laughs> this is honestly one of the most cut and dry cases of, yes, you're the butthole I've ever read on this sub. Down in the comments, 3Fluffy sums it up pretty nicely. You're the butthole. On what planet is that an okay thing to say to anybody? Friend or family or complete stranger or worst enemy? You humiliated him in front of your group. Of course everyone thinks you're a butthole. You are one. Edit, the fact that Mark is charitable enough to defend you, or more likely, saving face for himself doesn't absolve you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. My guess is that Mark says it's fine because he doesn't want to be completely humiliated. 
And then, OP as an edit. I've been informed that Mark experienced a severely traumatic incident a few years ago. I had no idea this was the case and obviously feel bad. I'll apologize but completely understand if he doesn't accept my apology. Am I the butthole for pulling a harmless prank on a guy who has a crush on me? This actually happened on Valentine's Day, but I'm still getting flack for it. Please tell me if I'm the butthole. I'm really good friends with this guy, we're both 20, and we pull little pranks on each other all the time. We both started working at the same place, so we see each other a lot more. Around early February, we were hanging out one night and he got very drunk. He normally doesn't get that drunk. He started awkwardly confessing his crush and telling me how much I mean to him, etc. I thought he was just messing around, but he said the same things the next day, fully sober. I told him that I'm not interested, and he didn't look very upset. He actually took it very well, and we talked about something else afterwards. FYI, all of my friends said that he was seriously upset about the rejection, but that wasn't my experience. On Valentine's Day, we were on our lunch break, and I told him that we needed to talk. I told him that I really thought about his confession the other night and wanted to tell him something important since it's Valentine's Day. He panicked and asked if I'm serious. I said yeah and asked if he wants a kiss. Everybody knows that it's the oldest and lamest trick in the world. But he fell for it hard and got so excited. He was actually about to kiss me but then I pulled a Hershey's Kiss chocolate out of my pocket and offered it. At first he didn't get it, but then he understood. He didn't speak to me for the rest of our shift. I told him to lighten up, but he straight up ignored me. When we texted later that night, he was giving me one word answers. I personally think that's an overreaction. After that day, he stopped hanging out with our friend group and barely texted anybody. Two weeks went by and our friends got really concerned. I told them about the incident and they started roasting me hard. I've never received so much flack for something so little. They all agree that I'm a butthole and shattered his confidence. I'm not sure if I agree. First of all, we prank each other frequently. He knows that I'm not serious about anything 99% of the time. Secondly, how could you fall for the Hershey's kiss line? My friends still bring it up occasionally and say that I am horrible for what I did. He hasn't talked to me at all since that day. I'm pretty sure he forgot about it by now. So am I the bad guy? OP, I'm going to say that just for the prank you pulled, you get 2.5 out of 5 buttholes. But based on your reaction alone, I'm going to upgrade it to 3.5 out of 5 buttholes. If I genuinely hurt the feelings of a close friend, I'd be stumbling over myself trying to apologize and make things right. Instead, you're doubling down and saying that he's overreacting and honestly being really callous. Here's one of the most important lessons to learn about being a butthole in life. I mean, sometimes you're just a jerk. It happens. It happens to all of us. Sometimes I'm the jerk. But the thing that matters isn't your experience of being a jerk. It's your victim's experience of being a jerk. Plus, I'd bet any amount of money that if a guy did this to you, you'd be complaining on the internet about how guys are jerks. Am I the butthole for banning my brother from bringing his Indian girlfriend to my wedding? Title sounds very bad and horribly racist, but let me clarify. So my brother, he's 25, has been dating an American-born girl to Indian parents since last year. She's 23. Her parents don't like their relationship because he's white and probably prefer her to find an Indian man. He's been trying to gain their approval but failing and from what he said, they continue to shrug him off and actively exclude him if she tries to bring him to their family events. This has annoyed me because my brother is one of the nicest people I know. In the meantime, I proposed to my girlfriend and we're sending out invites to everyone. I came to the difficult decision that since his girlfriend's family will not accept him, we will not accept her. I talked it over with my girlfriend and told her how strongly I feel about this and she agreed. I didn't want to spring this up on her, so I asked his girlfriend if we could meet up and I sat down with her and explained that in good conscience, I couldn't invite her to our wedding if her family cannot accept my brother and I essentially boiled it down to, if they don't want my brother, we don't want you. I told her she'll be banned from all of our future family events until something changes with her parents in regards to my brother. She got upset about it and this caused a huge divide in my family. My brother obviously is against it, but I wanted to do it out of support for him. Other relatives agreed this was the right thing to do, but I've been seeking judgment from outside my family to gain a clearer perspective if I was being a butthole in making this decision. OP, if your version of support is insulting your brother's girlfriend and ostracizing her from the family, then I wouldn't want your support. 
I mean, it's your wedding, so you can invite or not invite whoever you want, but the reasons you gave are honestly pretty messed up. I'm gonna give you four out of five buttholes here. Am I the butthole for kicking my dad and his pregnant wife out of the home I legally own after they sent my depressed sister to live with our aunt? My mother passed away three years ago. The family home, where I and my sister grew up, was willed to me. It was her ancestral property, and she wanted her daughter to have it. The other vacation home went to my 16-year-old sister. Our father remarried six months after mom passed away and moved his new wife in. My sister says that the woman has removed all of our family pictures from the main living area. She's removed our mom's pictures as well. Now, all of these pictures adorn the walls of my sister's room. Recently, our father and his wife announced that they were pregnant with twins. My sister didn't take it well. She's still not over mom's death and had a breakdown after the announcement. The night of my sister's 16th birthday party, she brought a lot of friends over and the party went on until the next morning. My dad's wife, who was out with our father on vacation, returned the same morning and lost her cool when she saw the kids passed out in the living room. Our dad knew about the party, they just got home earlier than expected. His wife proceeded to lose her cool and had a big shouting match with my sister. She said that my sister was just like our mom and was a burden on our dad. She then asked her to leave and sent her packing to our aunts. I was furious when I found out about it. I showed up home the next day and asked them to leave within a week. She's seven months pregnant and had no idea that the house belonged to me. I know I shouldn't be kicking a pregnant woman out, but I don't want my spineless father and his wife to abuse my sister anymore. My father called me a cruel brat and now wants to challenge our mom's will. He can try. My mom's family has already appointed their family lawyer to fight my case. Am I the butthole? Wait, wait. Let me make sure I've got something straight. Your mom died six months ago, and your dad's girlfriend is seven months pregnant? Well, I'm not going to get too deep into that mess because we're kind of missing some details. But based on the story you told, no, OP, you're definitely not the butthole. Your dad and her girlfriend are living rent-free in your house. It doesn't sound like your deceased mom or your sister were a burden. It sounds like your dad and his girlfriend are the burden. So yeah, I think you're justified in kicking them out and supporting your sister. Your dad kinda sounds like a douchebag and your stepmom sounds like she's pretty entitled. That was r slash am I the butthole and unless you hit the like button then you are definitely the butthole.